Can I put Donald Trump in a time capsule? <laughs> that's a great idea. Why don't we put Donald Trump in a time capsule? Yeah, that's a good idea. And then send him into the future and then maybe decide not to open up the time capsule. Partition was probably the, um, the greatest refugee crisis ever seen. Mm. Why do you think it's important to explore the story in the current political climate? I think it's important to explore it because we don't seem to have learned any lessons from it. That there was such a, a you know, the politics of division and fear, the seeds that were sown for that by the Brits in India have had such a monumental impact on so many hundreds of millions of people. And yet we're having those same conversations again about division and fear and separateness and, um, and so, um, I think it's really important that we see that we're not learning anything, we're doing the same things over and over and over again, expecting different results, and that maybe there's another way of doing things. I was really interested to hear about Gurinder's exploration of her family history. Mm. Have you ever explored your past? And if you did, what would you look for? That's interesting. I was, um, I, I haven't done a lot of exploration. I was asked to do um, Who Do You Think You Are? Uh -huh. um, a couple of years ago, which I was very interested in, and they what, the, what they do is they go away for about three months and they dig around and they talk to family members, and I was convinced that they were going to come back and say, "Oh my gosh, you're so interesting, and you're <laughs> you know we found so much stuff. We're definitely going to do this." And they came back and said, "Well, we haven't really found anything yet, so uh, maybe we'll come back to this." Um, so, but I, I do have an interest in it, but I was kind of slightly hoping that somebody else would do the work for me. <laughs> We're celebrating experiences that shape a filmmaker's career. When did you try something for the first time that helped you to grow as an actress? It was a series called The X-Files. And when I yeah. first started that job, I didn't really know what a mark was or how to hit my light or what it, any of it. I was very, very green. But all of a sudden, having the responsibility of this role in this series, essentially in front of millions of people, was um, a very, very quick learning curve. But it was, it was very much me, at the very beginning, knowing very little. And you can kind of see it if you see those early episodes. You see that I'm, you know, I remember one time that I was asked to do a scene where I was the FBI agent that I was, but um, directing a line of male, older FBI agents to do something. And I remember feeling, <laughs> I'm 24 years old. I can't wait. Me? Like, how am I? I don't even know how to act that with my squeaky voice. What? What? What does one do to pretend that one is in control of this line of men? Um, and then you do it. And once you do it, then you feel a bit more confident. And then you do it again. You feel a bit more confident. <laughs>